it was a concern. That's why I came forward to say, you know, what he'd asked me for was Depavan. And um, my concern, you know, and that he did not receive it, was well, that wasn't my concern, but I was hoping no one had given it to him. And now that we know it's official, and that was, you know, I find that my worst nightmare was, was true. He suffered from chronic severe insomnia. Yeah. And then what he asked me for the Depavan, I told him, this is not a medication for sleep. You know, you don't, you don't, it's not used for sleep. I went through in detail with him, including with the physician desk reference, the PDR, of all the side effects with it. And Michael was trying to reassure me that he would be okay as long as someone was to monitor him and could I find him uh, a physician, could I find him a anesthesiologist, and this was his words. And I told him, I don't know anybody. I don't know anyone that would come and do this at your home. I don't know anyone. And don't do this. So we didn't discuss anything when it is other than the death of Anne in April. And he was very emphatic about, you know, I need something that's going to help me sleep. I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night. I want to sleep through, through, the, through the night.